All right, class. In this video, we are going to learn that how to find out the distance in your kinematics chapter in your speed time graph. All right. So keep in mind that whenever it says find out the distance, you need to find out the area under the curve. Now, what I meant by that? Firstly, you need to identify the shapes. If I complete the line here, so now I have a triangle, I have a triangle, and I have a rectangle. So basically, if I need to find out the distance, I need to find out the area of these two shapes. Firstly, if I start with the triangle, so triangle area is what? It's one upon two base multiplied by height. Now the base is zero till twenty. That means it's twenty. So base is twenty. Height is what? Height is from twelve till thirty. That means it is eighteen. You can solve it. Two ones are two. Two nines are eighteen. And nine times twenty is 180. So that is the distance of the triangle, right? The area represents the distance. After that, you have a rectangle. The area of a rectangle is length multiplied by breadth. The length is what? It's 20, and the height is 12 here, as you can see on your graph. So you need to multiply 12 twos are 24, so that will be 240. If I need to find out the distance covered in the first 20 seconds, I need to add these two, 180 plus 240, and that gives you the value of 420 meters. That means the total distance covered in the first 20 seconds is 420 meters. That's how you find out the distance in your speed time graph by using area under the curve. 